You then, after this, met another young actor called Jamie Lomas, <laughs> uh, who appeared in Hollyoaks. Yeah. How would you yeah. describe him? Um, what kind of guy fun. is he? Exciting. There's never a dull moment with Jamie. Really? Yeah. In what way? Do you know what? You know, having, having been... Well, I'd just come out of a relationship, a seven-year relationship, where, you know, I thought the fact that Jack and I were so different was a good thing. Mm. In actual fact, I realised that I was changing my personality. And I realised that I am a party girl. I like going out. I like having a drink occasionally. I like socialising. And, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. After about six months, you discovered that you were pregnant. Yeah. How did you feel when you heard that news? Was it planned? Was it a surprise? No, or? it wasn't planned. Um, I had been ill, and unfortunately, certain medication hadn't worked in the way that they should, <laughs> um, and uh, found out I was pregnant. How did he react when he knew? He went, what? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, he was fine. He was fine about it. But obviously, we both weren't expecting that so soon in our relationship. You know, it wasn't how we would have wanted it to be. But I was, and that was that. And were you quite quickly quite happy about it, the pair of you? Did you sort of think, OK, well, this is happening. Yeah. This is a good thing, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we were happy about it. You know, we both... Jamie's got a little boy from a previous relationship, Billy, who's gorgeous, and I adore him and love him with all my heart. Um, you know, I've got David and Emily, who are obviously like big brother and sister to him. You know, they get on so well. Mm. And how lovely that we're, we're going to have one together and, and bring us together as a family. Tragedy happened. There's no other way to describe it. And your, your son was born 18 weeks prematurely. Yeah. What happened then? I mean, what went wrong? Was it all a normal pregnancy till then? Did you have any warning that it was going to go wrong? No. Um, I had had my eldest son seven weeks early. Um, my daughter was full term, so there was no suggestion, that, no reason or thought that this might happen again um, and that it would happen so prematurely. Mm. So it was a complete shock. Complete shock. I, mean, I can't imagine there are worse things to happen. To a woman no. than that, than what happened to you? No. You named him Archie. Yeah. Um, he died very soon after he was born. Yeah. Uh, how did you cope? I mean, how do you cope with that kind of thing? I didn't. In honesty, I didn't cope very well. Um, it's the worst thing that could ha ever happen to anybody. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Um, he, uh, he was, you know, it's horrible when you've been looking forward to something so much and suddenly it's taken away from you and it's so unfair. And as a woman, it's difficult for, for a man and I'm not taking anything away from fathers because they're very important and they feel a loss the same as we do. But for a woman... You know, you've bonded with this child and it's really difficult. It's really hard and I took it really hard. Um, and it's only really the strength of, of Jamie and, um, you know, my family and Jamie's family that got us through it, to be honest, got me through it. Jamie was, Jamie was a lot stronger than I was. <laughs> yeah, I kind of lost my way a little bit there. I think... You know, it does something to you. It, you know, a part of you seems to disappear. We had a separation. It tears people apart and sometimes they don't recover from that, but we did. And there's a reason for that and it's because we're strong. It's been a, an incredibly tough year for you in many ways. Uh, but you and Jamie have got things back together now. You seem very happy together. And there's really, I guess, a light at the end of that dark tunnel for you. Yeah. Following Archie's death, Kim and Jamie are rebuilding their life together. The most difficult year I've ever had in my life. Um, and 
you know, even more difficult for Kim because, you know, she had to go through it all. To lose little baby Archie was terrible. I mean, I was with her all the way. I don't think I'd have, I could have coped, coped with it the way Kim has. Um, just shows you what she's made of. People try to knock her down, but then she just bounces back and gets up and dusts herself down and carries on. And she always will do that. She's a fighter. I'm really, really proud of my mum. I love her lots. After a tough year, things are now looking up. I wanted to start the year off on a good footing, and that's why I decided to ask him to marry me, you know. I just thought, this is it, you know, this is a woman for me. Jamie came to me and said, I've bought a ring, I've bought a diamond ring. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> I said, are you going to propose then? And he said, don't say anything, don't say anything, I'm going to do it New Year's Eve. She was pestering me, saying, Oh, you're never going to ask me to marry you. And I was like, and I had the ring in my pocket, and I was kind of thinking, well, I am, but... So I just got down on one knee and asked her, and, and yeah, and she said, yeah, luckily. And then on Christmas Day, Kim rang me in the morning. Oh, guess what? Jamie's proposed. And I thought, he just could not wait. I keep getting told off my friends that, oh, you look really lucky going out with Kim Marsh. So, yes, I am. I am very lucky, aren't I? That's why I'm marrying her. <laughs> What was his proposal? Was it a romantic one? Yeah. I mean, it's Christmas Day. That's pretty... We, that we, is pretty romantic. We had a row the day before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, can I tell this story? Yes, you can, yeah. <laughs> It's so funny because we were having this conversation and I think someone had asked someone to marry them that we knew or something, and I went, see, they're getting married. I went, you're just never going to ask me to marry you, are you? you we got into this debate about it. We started having this row, and uh, I think I drove off, actually. <laughs> so he'd already bought the ring? Yeah. And there you are, driving off in a fury that he won't marry you. <laughs> and he's thinking, well, that's ruined that little plan. I know. <laughs> so you get to Christmas Day, are you talking to him now or not? Yeah, no, we're fine. He gave me this letter and he went, yeah. So I opened it. It's behind where we sit. So then I'm finding all these little letters everywhere, all these little things. It's, it's under where we keep the champagne. It's here, it's there, it's where David lays his head, la, la, la. And the last one was, it's where the magic happens. <laughs> I thought, well, that could be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a look and uh, there was this other letter in the bed and it just said, I love you. And I thought, Oh, there's me, dozy me. Oh, I'm really happy with that. I'm just really romantic, thank you. And then he went to, oh, have a look in, in the bed. There might be something else there. So I'm looking, I couldn't find it. It was there about 20 minutes. I couldn't find it. He hid it in the duvet, this box. <laughs> opened it, and the ring was actually, it fell out. And I just kind of went... <gasps> <laughs> I don't think I breathed for about five minutes. And I looked at him and I went... Eh, 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 it was literally like that, and then he got down on one knee and proposed to me. Really? Yeah. Congratulations, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is it now? He's the one. He's absolutely the one. I don't want to be with anybody else. I don't see my life without him. He's, he's absolutely... He's my rock, he's everything, and we've been through... So we, we had a separation because of what happened, you know, the year that, that we had. It tears people apart and sometimes they don't recover from that, but we did. And there's a reason for that and it's because we're strong and we'll keep being strong. You're 33 now. Yeah. And, I mean, as we've now discovered, your life has been almost as big a soap opera as the character you play in Coronation yeah. Street. Do you sometimes feel my life's just so like a soap opera? I do feel like that sometimes, but I love my life. I love my life. Would I you change anything, no. good and bad? No, not at all, because the bad things... The bad things that have happened are the reason that I'm strong. And I am a fighter, and I do keep going. And I think that, you know, you have to be challenged in life. It's what makes it exciting. And it's, you know, it's great. Jim Marsh, good luck. Thank and you thank very you very much. much. <laughs>